Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I'd like to discuss my new Rev2 release of my 18.4 double shielded cable. And many of you already realize I've had my 18.4 double shielded cable Rev1 Rev edition in my store for quite some time. Um, cable's exceptional quality. I just wanted to tweak a couple things once again uh, to make sure I'm giving you the, the best product and the easiest product to work with. Uh, my first Rev of the cable only had tin braided copper mylar foil as the double shield and of course with the tin braided copper you had to formulate your own ground drain. A lot of my potential clients and even regular clients had some issues because again working with uh, double shielded cable is something you have to be familiar with if you've never done it to really build a really nice cable assembly. That being said, I've, I went around and we changed the this revision to install a shield ground drain. You can see it right here. And it is perfectly formed. And once again, we did not modify the Mylar foil and the tin braided copper, which of course makes this cable all but bulletproof with EMI. Um, another thing I went and did, because I wanted to add a little more flexibility to the cables, because for motor cable use, you wanna have as much flexibility as possible, of course, in the cable chain. I reformulated the PVC insulation, so we have a little more flexibility. And that being said, I was able to remove the twine inside the cable so that your flexibility was there, but we reduced the friction. So overall, cable quality, once again, is, is excellent. We just wanted to make sure that the flexibility could be uh, even greater, so to speak, than what it was while still retaining the same principles and uh, the same actual spec. So again, this cable is rated to 300 volt. It is an 80 degree Celsius temperated cable. So again, super, super soft, really easy to work with. And one question I wanted to answer because I get this a lot is, are the conductors actually copper? Yes, these are copper, of course, uh, and they're actually tinned. You can see here, I'll feather them out a little bit. So you can see exactly what we're working with. And you can see what we'll, we've got here. And again, as far as the shield drain, it is preformed. So you guys do not have to do anything. This is the way it's installed in the cable. You would naturally just attach this to your ground bus bar or to your enclosure's uh, actual connector if it's going to the ground bus or whichever application you're using where it requires the ground drain to go. But you can see here, this is much easier to work with than formulating a ground drain utilizing um, just the actual tin braided copper shield. You have to twine it and deal with the soldering and whatnot. So I wanted to make it as simple as possible. The best thing about these revisions is that it costs nothing to you. And that is something I'm real proud of. Anything I do uh, to once again take this, take the components to the next level, I want to do it without costing you guys any more money. But again, if you do order this cable, I'm trying to update all my listings now in eBay so that, again, if you order it, you're going to get the latest revision. I always do that. I don't charge extra. I just do it the right way in, in my eyes. That's the way to do it. So again, guys, I hope this video has been helpful. I'll put a link in the description below for the cable. Um, if you guys have any questions, once again, message me direct at storm2313 at gmail.com. You can also message me uh, through my eBay store. You'll see the actual um, description in the video and also under the video you'll see the description as far as contacting me you'll be all set with that to all my subscribers guys i love you um, i will continue uh, releasing as many new products as i can as far as making that system as stable as possible and we make sure that uh, we keep them electric gremlins at bay thank you all